comes to banking, people should always come first. You work hard, so we work hard. What matters to you matters to us. First State Community Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 30-minute time limit match for the vacant Mid-America title between Austin the Reaper Bolo and Tommy Too Good to crown a new Mid-America champion here at Mid-America. With this title, with the reason there's a 30 minute time limit with this title, Alan, is the fact that it's usually a fast, high profile match, and these guys are fixing to fire it up. Austin Bolo, Austin. Ding, ding. Here we go. Oh! Wow! There it is, Tommy Tugger coming in with big, heavy shots to the jaw. Of Austin Bolo. Here. These two men have had many battles over the past few months here at American Hostile. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. I remember uh, Warnell, Missouri, several months ago when Austin Bolo made a reappearance in American Hostile. Yeah, it's going to be too good. Two big back elbow shots and then hitting Bolo with. He's close on there and Bolo retreats to the floor. Tries to get a few seconds to, to recompose himself and try and get his bearings back against him. Slides back in the ring to, to break up the count, but he didn't know that Too Good had followed out behind him. Too Good jumps on top of him on the floor on the outside against the barricade here in Charleston, Missouri at American Hostile Championship Wrestling September 2. Remember, Tommy Too Good doesn't forget things very lightly. He remembers what Austin Bolo did to him at Wardell. And when, uh, Bolo put a number on him pretty good. Tommy Too Good came in ready to get, get uh, let's say, some change. And I think both of these men, across their many battles, are, are now standing about even. Now, I, I think correct. you're correct, Alan. They've, uh, they've had a lot of undecisive finishes here, so hopefully we get a good finisher in uh, crown. A very, very liable champion that can hold that title of prestige. Many have held it with honor and prestige, and we hope it continues. That's a great big opportunity here for these two men, and Tommy Too Good and Austin the Reaper Bolo here. And as Too Good goes for that drop toe hold, comes across the back of Austin Bolo and grabs him in a, in a headlock. Spins around, grabs that, that left arm up Bolo, now bringing him in for some standing shoulder tackles. Turns him around again. He is just laying in the Bolo. Look at him. Oh, wow, Fisherman Suplex. That is one of the most technical sound suplexes in the game, and it takes a lot of strength to get any man at any size up to do that. And for him to get a 260 pound man up like that, impressive. It is for sure, and that's, that's one of those moves in, in the wrestling business that if one thing goes wrong, it could end devastating. Absolutely. the man taking it all over. All giving. All giving. Two good springs off the road, springs across with that uh, flying clothesline there. Tommy Too Good has come in with, with passion tonight. He's come in for something serious. He is extra motivated. Too Good has come into this match. He uh, just looks bad. Looking to, I mean, this this just proves how important that this Mid America title is to these two men, both men, giving it everything they have for this championship and and wanting to be the next man to carry it absolutely and hold it for American High Style Championship Wrestling, and also get a little personal revenge back. That's you know, right. these two have been at it for quite some time now. And, because it's not just it's not just a regular match, right? This is a grudge match between these two men, and and you add a you add a championship belt to it, and it just intensifies the situation even more. 
Right. The, these two have been battling for months on end, and it seems at the end of the day, the golden prize is the Mid-America Championship, which on any one of these two can be held to a high prestige because they're both very good competitors. One's dangerous, and one is just absolutely insane. Bolo's working on the knee there. You notice that? He is. He's, he's got two good on the, on the mat now, working on the legs of Tommy Too Good, trying to make sure that he keeps him down. I think this is where Bolo can really take advantage of this matchup and, and Keep too good down. As, as I mentioned, that he picks him up and shoves him into the and he, into the corner. And he couldn't even stand up. Uh -oh. Right, we've seen this move before. Oh, the bolo ball. Man. The bolo ball. Wow. Just a high impact move there in the corner. 260 pounds coming your way. Nothing but impact there. Is bolo going up? Bolo going up to the top rope here. Oh, too no. good stands up. Oh, oh, it comes off. Close line off the top. That could be. That could be it. Yeah, he went for a reaper there. Went for either a close line off the top rope or a, or a double axe handle. Uh, not really sure from our bench which one he, he was able to hit there. I believe it was kind of more of a uh, close line hashtag cross check flying body press all in one. Bolo's a magician. Either, either way, it, it was too good to advantage and went for the cover there on too good, but now too good delivers that chin breaker. When you got 260 pounds coming at you, 10 feet in the air, you can call anything you want. Oh, the old too good splash. Snaps Bolo over. Oh, what we got Comes going here? Roof. Big stiff boot to the face. Man. Just a big climb to the face of Bolo. Ooh. Oh, it kicks out. Just barely gets that shoulder up before the referee's count of three there. And this match continues. And as we said at the beginning, this is a 30-minute time limit. Plenty of time left in this matchup. Plenty of time left in this matchup for these two men. Oh, 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 good oh, for oh reversal. There. Oh. Going for Looks like Bolo may have been going for it. He stunned him. 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 He delivers a big move there. We got a new champion. We have a new one. Tommy Too Good is the new Mid American champion. Wow. What Tommy Too Good just happened. As he hits that, that stump on wow. Austin, the Reaper Bolo, and it brings him to the count. House Rock and would much rather be having a house party, you could call Moss Bell Bonds at 573-359-4935 or 573-333-2916. They're available 24 hours a day. Also having a payment plan and credit cards accepted. You can make bail one minute from jail. Freedom loss, call Moss.
I've been around the moon several times, and I haven't seen very many mean country boys. He reminds me a little bit of old Black Bart. Black Bart was mean. Black Bart. But I think Bullwhip Ballard has a meaner side to him than Black Bart ever had. Bullwhip definitely a, a mean individual for sure and, and looking for every advantage that he can have to, to lead him to victory, including his manager, Big Lou Winston, on the floor outside the ring. And now Bullwhip kind of toying with Johnny kind I kind of have this instinct to me that that bell is some kind of uh, seance to Bullwhip Ballard to keep him. Because I just think the man is absolutely insane. I believe he would walk up Interstate 57 and if he's seen Johnny Kane driving down the road, he'd grab the car door and rip it off to get at Johnny Dodson. He would. There's I, no fear in that man whatsoever. I definitely believe that. Uh, just the battles that I've seen these two men have over across states that have traveled state lines. States. Right? Uh, just three states, four states. Just completely insane. It's like each man is the other's shadow. Right. Wherever one goes, the other one is following close behind. For each man, it's Christmas. Every time they get a chance to get in the ring, it's Christmas for both of them. They get to beat the crap out of each other. And I don't know who likes it more. Uh, they're both blood for punishment. You know, there's just, in, in, and I've been doing this a long time, Alan, and I just don't, I don't know what would end this battle. There, there's not enough. I don't know what would end it. I mean, there, there's, do you end this? I, Does it end? I feel like, I feel like the King Superstar Johnny Dotson loves to outsmart Bullwhip Ballard. Yes. And Bullwhip Ballard, on the other hand, loves to just pummel Johnny Dotson and slow him down and get his hands on People don't understand, Bullwhip Ballard is not a big man. No, he's not. He is huge. He is a very huge man. Johnny Dotson is very, very strong. Big hip toss, big arm drag from Johnny Dotson as he locks that arm in. For that elbow lock. The Kang's been doing this for years. Years. Years on end. He has outsmarted most any and everybody. He has wrestled many, many time heavyweight champion, many tag team championships, many championships throughout his career. Across the boat. Across uh, the boat. Well traveled, well traveled veteran Kang superstar Johnny Dotson. And there's no slowing down. Absolutely. He's been around for a long time, but he is not. Look at him. Oh, he goes back to that Alex Smart. Go to him. Right in there. Who drives that elbow into the canvas here. No give in that canvas whatsoever. None. Now Johnny goes in, delivers another arm drag. Two blue whip takes over that elbow lock once again. I just don't think we're going to see a lot of arm locks and wrist locks and hip tosses and body slams. I believe they're just kind of buying some time until the first one makes the lethal attack. That's it. Waiting for, waiting for to make the biggest mistake, and then as soon as that mistake is made, advantage will be taken. Speed down. Johnny goes in for that splash there on bullet, bullet hits the rope. He delivers a big boot to the jaw right in the of mouth. Johnny Dotson. Might have lost two. Johnny here may be hurt. Just a one count there. Look out there from the referee, Johnny Dotson, giving that, giving that big kick out there, Big Lou. That bell. Showing some anticipation. Big Lou looks like he wants his match. Uh, you never know about Big Lou. You don't even know what Big Lou's thinking. That's true. Big, big Lou's beat up so many people in his life, he just kind of likes watching people get beat up for a living. Memphis Vice, uh, once again. Former member of the Memphis Vice. Absolutely. You know, kind of reminds me of Big Lou. That belt might be his therapy to keep him from fighting. He might still think he's got it in the bag, and I probably think he does. You never know about Big Lou. He's dangerous too. No, Memphis Vice is one of the most dangerous tag teams of all time. It definitely is. I've seen Big Lou take a lot of shortcuts. 
to get his guys victories in the past. And, I mean, he will stop nothing and make sure that his guys come out victorious. And you've got to give it to Big Lou for, for being that man that's willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that his, that his clients, that his boys, come out victorious in any matchup that they're in. They always say a man does what it takes to get a paycheck. That's it. And I'm wondering, we mentioned the 60-minute time limit of this match. I'm wondering, when it comes down to the attrition, when it comes down to the uh, to the length that these guys are going to be able to go, because it takes a lot out of you being inside the wrestling room, going through the wrestling match. It takes a lot of uh, it, it takes a lot of effort to come out of that. And yes, who has the better attrition in this match? Is it if this if this match were to go to the to the time limit draw, would it be Will it Ballard or would it be Johnny Dotson? I think both men kind of evenly matched when it comes to their um, definitely to their resiliency but also to their attrition uh, you know that's a tough question to answer I'm talking 60 minutes of humbleization it basically boils down to who can take the most punishment it looks like it's most men have made their way out on the floor it looks like the referee is going to get lead way as far as the 10 count goes, because this is a massive championship. Match. We told, we had a meeting earlier this week at headquarters, and we told the referees when this match is, kind of kind of give them a little space, let them work their problems out, and, you know, if it gets a little barren, do your thing, do your job. Johnny, Butler's pulling back in and goes for the cover. Just we there. told the referee we want a decisive winner, and hopefully we get that. The referee knows his discretion. It's his discretion. So he knows he knows what he's got to do. Look, look what Bullock's doing. Now. We're talking about the smarts of, of Johnny Dotson. Look at the smarts of Bullock Bell here throwing Johnny Dotson to the floor. And all so Louis is penetrating. Can drive that that foot right across the throat of Johnny Dotson. You know, Big Lou's probably wearing a size 15 still. And Bullock going and grabbing the hair of Johnny Dotson, pulling it back up to the ring apron. Uh oh. Uh oh. Saying it was very close there. He Ooh, called it by the inch. He stunned him. He needs to stay on him. That's his chance right now. He's got one shot. You better take Bull Whip while he's down. Oh, oh, no, no. Bull Whip goes for the splash on Johnny Dobson in the oh, corner. No. Johnny moves and the referee is down. You're leaving these two with no referee? That's bad news. Shot the ref down. You better take it now. Got him. Got him. You know what? Lock him, Johnny. Got him. Johnny delivers a big shot to Big Lou Winston. And that long time coming there. West Coast going to put a little bonus in your paycheck, King. Thank you, baby. Oh, it's got a chain down. Johnny Johnson doesn't realize it. What? What? He's got that chain. Johnny goes to check on the referee as Bullwood has his chain wrapped Where did he get the chain from? There's no telling where Bullwood got this chain. It could have been a plan all along. You saw it. I saw it. And the referee checked it. No, he did. He just... Oh, my God. And we got eight count. 